What's up everybody, it's Zombie Spartan 15 here and today I'm going to be reviewing Mega Bloks Halo Set Covenant Wraith. This is set number 97014 and this is from 2012. So let's begin by looking at the minifigures again. Okay, so this is what kind of elite is it? Okay, instructions tell me. Oh, it's a combat elite, okay. This is a combat elite. He comes with whatever gun this is. And he is painted a really, really amazing gold. I like it a lot. I like how shiny it is. And it looks kind of orangish, yellow, like macaroni and cheese, but shiny. I like that a lot. It's macaroni and cheese gold. And he has red eyes. And... This rifle thing can fit on a guy's back using a pin or something. So, whatever. That guy was cool. Oh, crap, his stand fell off. So, this guy is up next. He is a commando elite. Sounds like he's not wearing underwear. And he's in the same kind of macaroni gold. And, uh... He is carrying whatever kind of gun this is, too. I don't know what it's called. I've never played Halo 3 or 4. I play Halo CE and 2. Guess that's kind of good. They don't have any paint application inside of their bellies. But it's just black and macaroni gold. He's more smooth than the other one. He has a pinhole on the back. Like everybody does and uh i really like this may figure i like the look on his face he's awesome okay the last may figure i traded half his body for some money so uh well actually i traded half of his body for a different mini figure but this is a eod spartan he looks really cool even though he has scout armor on, and he comes with a rocket launcher. Now to the big thing. It's a wraith. Yeah. It's kind of like a bluish purple color. It has a ton of stickers. It has like five trillion stickers. There's bolt holes right there. And, uh, I'm not very hyper. Like, you probably think I'm hyper, but I'm not. This has a cannon on it. You can swivel around like circles and stuff but it's not full 360 degrees and there's this cannon thing it, it can go up and down go back and you can move these things back and forth and that kind of stuff so yeah and also it can fully retract like this and it can go inside and like totally close man also there's a sticker on the top of it and it glides around Oh no, and it gets on like that, so, uh, I think that's cool, not my hand, but I'm trying to put this on, okay, let me get one of the main figures so you can stare at it for a while, okay, there's the main figure, so, so and now we wait, okay, now I'm putting the arm of the wraith back on, and there we go. What is new? Dang it, another piece fell off. Oh my god. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, we're good. Good. Back. Okay. This thing can open. Pretty sweet. Stick something in there. But it's not that grand display if you were to stick something in there. They can completely fit, but it's a waste of a main figure. And also you can put a Mayfair in there, he holds on to it. It goes completely in, like, uh, I'm not going to waste the time of putting his hands on it, but it can go in like that. And also these things can move a certain amount. And same with this. It's really awesome. So, uh, here's the back. So, like, there's this handlebar thingy, so you can stick a minifigure on there, like he's gonna throw a grenade in the back of it, so it'll explode and turn this off. 
So, uh, yeah. And these things can open and close, too. I thought this was a really cool thing that they did. Even though, like, they totally could have just made it like that completely. But I really like that. So, uh, up next is the, uh, whatever this thing is. I think it's some forearm structure of some sort. What is it? Tell me! Tell me what it is! Uh, it doesn't tell me. I'm trying to look at the instructions, but they don't tell me. Okay, it's a forearm generator. Okay, that's great. There's these stickers that go up and down it. You can see, and there's this button console thing. And it looks really cool. So, uh, I like it. So, uh, I guess that's a video or something, I guess. So, uh, I hope you liked it. And, uh, I hope you subscribe to our channel because we do reviews a lot. And, uh, we like doing them. You know I'm not talking like, you know I'm talking like this on purpose, right? Because I don't really talk like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, uh, I guess that was the video. Okay. See ya.